Thank you, and thank you on behalf of everyone who's in the film. Uh, so uh, thank you, and well, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm proud to welcome you to the White House for this special screening of Hiding in Plain Sight. You know, a lot of the stories that we're going to see this afternoon are hard to watch. It's impossible not to be moved by the pain of these young people and the, and the families and what they share. And as a parent, you know, the only thing we want to do is protect our children. And we do everything we can to help them grow up safely. If they break a leg, we put them in a cast. If they have a strep throat, we get them antibiotics. Mental health is health. But the solutions to address these challenges aren't always clear cut. The journey to treatment is rarely a straight line, and it can be hard to find the resources that you need. Far too often, struggles are cloaked in secrecy and shame. About a month ago, we invited a group of these incredible young mental health leaders here to the White House, actually right in this very room. And like everyone in this documentary, they shared their struggles, often through their tears. And they talked about being afraid and hiding who they are. And, you know, it broke my heart. But there was so much hope there, too, because they had all found a way from that darkness toward the light. And they found it through treatment, through community, through storytelling and other creative new ways to build resilience. One young man said, it was beautiful when I realized, wow, I'm not so alone anymore. For many years, an alarming number of young people have struggled with mental health challenges. And the, the pandemic has made it so much worse. The isolation, the anxiety, the grief. We have so much work to do to help our children heal. We have so much work to do to make sure that no one feels like their pain needs to be hidden. We want young people everywhere to know we see you, we hear you, and we will work together to make this better. And that's... <laughs> that's why Joe made this a key part of his unity agenda. He's working to expand the mental health workforce and invest in counselors and other mental health resources in our schools. And you can imagine how proud I feel as a teacher. You know, I knew he would be so good on education, and I just feel like he's, you know, just the right person for the right time. And in October, the Department of Education released new resources and evidence-based recommendations for educators like myself. They've also committed to collaborating with the Department of Health and Human Services to address the mental health needs of youth across our country. And starting in July, all Americans experiencing a mental health crisis, including thoughts of self-harm, can dial 988 to be connected with trained crisis responders who can connect them to resources. <laughs> this isn't a red or a blue issue, as you all know. You know, it's an American issue, a global issue. And we must come together to find better solutions, because it's not going to be easy. But I know it starts with this, bringing the problem into the light, having the conversation, 
helping our children and everyone who suffers from this disease understand that they are not alone. None of us are. So I want to thank Ken Burns and directors Eric Ewers and Christopher Lauren Ewers for creating a documentary that can help us do just that. Ken has such a gift for breaking open the stories that we don't always see. And I want to especially to thank the brave young people who took part in this. Can we give them a Would you all stand? Would you all stand? takes incredible courage to tell your story, to be honest about the struggles you face and say, you know what, I'm not okay. It's on us to meet that courage with action, to do everything in our power to give you what you need to heal. So thank you. You are a light to so many lives, and I want you to know that your present President, my husband, <laughs> and I are so grateful for your courage. Today is about you. So thank you to everyone for coming out this afternoon. And now, Ken Burns. <laughs>